Hi guys! It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I received voluminous emails actually asking me about the dimension of the cages for our quails. And in as much as I wanted to answer you all, well, maybe next week is the answer for all the squares because we are scheduled to expand our quail farm and I'm so happy because this quail farming need no big space if you have a small space then you can still raise thousands of them if you are just going to consider all the you know important and uh, minute details about this farm Well, I would like to share with you that in quail farming, we have to consider your waste because this waste will become very stinky when uncleaned. Meaning that the cleaning of the waste would be regular and on the daily basis. Well, in our case, we are collecting all the dung at least twice a day in the morning and late in the afternoon because we cannot just you know allow this uh, dung to become very stinky because this is a subdivision and we have so many neighbors over here and i don't want to become the sore of the smell of the neighborhood so i'm really trying my best to make this uh, environment as healthy as possible and free from bad odor and this is what is really happening now and uh, every day we're cleaning this one we're cleaning very religiously because as what i have said we cannot afford to be the subject of the complaints of our neighborhood and you will see right here that our quail had been uh, you know the farming had been so successful we are already now able to collect some 200 eggs every day and this is actually the 60 percent of the total uh, population of our quail breeders and it's very understandable because uh, these breeders are not of the same ages some of them are already matured some are not matured that are not still able to you know lay their eggs and i'm so happy with the result of our breeding because i can sense that the hatchability of the eggs that we have incubated is something like 70 percent and this is uh, very amazing because Normally, if this uh, young hens will lay their eggs, there is a lower hatchability rate. But in this case, it's high. It's 70%, maybe because of the, the breeder aid that we are actually using. And if you can see this one, this is the breeder aid of uh, designed for the chickens. And I tried this to be also very effective for the quails. Because if you wanted to produce fertile eggs, then this uh, supplement is also very useful. In the later part of this video, we're gonna go to the incubator and we're gonna collect some of uh, the newly hatched uh, birdlings, these uh, this chicks of this, these quails. But I would like to also make some sharing about the waste disposal because uh, this waste disposal is uh, very critical it's very crucial actually and what we did was we dug this uh, septic tank where we put all this down we made sure that this is gonna be covered because it will of course be attacked also by the the fly and it can produce maggots and the fly will multiply so this is the thing that we don't want to happen that's why we dug our septic tank and we put all the dung inside the septic tank and also i have to share with you about what is happening here we have a small setback well uh, this is uh, tolerable but we cannot just allow this to continuously happen because some of our breeder quails have uh, this cut over here and uh, this was caused by the sharp uh, you know part of this uh, screen because i thought that this one inch square screen actually this is one inch in uh, measurement one inch square and this is already good i was uh, having doubt whether the head of the quail can uh, go through with the small holes that's why i made cuttings over here and these cuttings leave some sharp parts of this that cause some damage and even wound of our quail the moment that there is a wound of course there's a blood and this blood now will make them very hyper that they will 
drink the blood and then all those that have blood on their beaks will also be harmed by others so that's gonna be a very tragic event to happen because all these quails could probably die because of the simple mistake we're addressing the issue now and we have already unsharpened this one and it's good it's already good so another thing that i can share with you in our future videos is the dimension of the cages By the end of this month, I am set to make a cage right here. Uh, maybe you can utilize this by just uh, making a, a double layered cages for the quails. And I can estimate that this can accommodate 2,000 layers. So 1,000 here, double cages, uh, 500 and then another 500 and then 500 and another 500 layers so this can accommodate something like 2000 layers if we will just utilize the place and we will have some projections of what is going to happen what i said about projections is you can estimate whether it cannot disturb the neighborhood well if you will just allow the males to increase in number that is really very tragic because the males the cocks are really very noisy they can grow any time of the day and night and that's gonna be disturbing so we are controlling the population of the male and then turn that into good recipes good buy-in and that's what i'm doing actually in our last videos i made a video about eating the quails and it's very delicious so no problem about the overpopulation of the male because we can just make them as our buy-in so right here is a cage where we reserve for the chicks but i momentarily use this one as our hospital <laughs> because there are some injured quails that need to be separated and since they already have recovered so my goal is to bring them back in the breeding cage well in this particular cage i call this the breeding cage because we are producing fertile eggs but on this portion our intention is to produce table eggs meaning that all the eggs that are good for human consumption and not for hatching so this is our desire and if we can you know produce 2,000 eggs in a day that's gonna be 4,000 pesos because the market price per egg is 2 peso so if you have 4,000 then probably you can only spend around one sack of the feeds which is 1,500 so if you will deduct that with the 4,000 more or less we have 2,500 per day and if you will multiply that to 30 days more or less you will have a net income of 50,000 pesos of raising only two to three thousand quail that's a good income so I'm sharing this because I wanted to also um, open the minds of the people our followers all over the world maybe this is one of the options that you can make in order to have a living So you will see that they are already big well this was featured in our previous videos they were so small and uh, they were just very tiny when we made that video but now they are already about to lay their eggs so they can easily and rapidly grow and you will see that uh, they are already very noticeable the males are already very noticeable and distinguishable from the females actually we have started culling already or i mean segregating the males and uh, 60 percent of the total population of the chicks are already uh, female so we will now transfer this one this one okay and then we will um use this cage for the newly hatched chicks that we're gonna get now from the incubator so Toto now will start transferring all these uh, chicks and I have here one bantam chicken <laughs> this was not uh, uh, actually intentional this is the chick of the bantam chicken and he feels now that he's a quail <laughs> this is a serama bantam you see that 
Oh, this is not a quail. This is a bantam chick. So Toto will do now, and uh, I will watch here because these quails have the capacity now to fly high. Okay. So we have 200 future breeders, so we will go to the pet shop where we place this incubator and we can now see what is the actual scenario in the incubator. You will see that it has plenty of quail eggs. Come on, let's go and we will get the chicks. So this is our pet store, Dexter's World Pet Shop. and. Right here inside is our incubator where we can witness now uh, how many chicks do we gonna uh, harvest. So come on, let's get inside. So I'm so excited to open this incubator now. We'll put the light right here. We'll put the light right here. And uh, before we're gonna open that, I would like you to see eggs that are here inside you see there are plenty of eggs these are duck eggs and some are eggs of the chickens see and this is fully loaded we have so many quail eggs right here and they are about to be hatched actually we have Estimated this to reach around 1,000 eggs right here of the quail. It's there plenty inside. In fact, we have still some eggs right here. Could no longer be accommodated in the trays. But we have to manually move this one. These eggs of the quail. And now we will open the hatcher. Because this has two compartments. The setter and the hatcher. The setter can contain uh, 2,000 eggs and the hatcher can also contain 2,000 eggs so the capacity is actually 4,000 see and you will see that if the temperature drops then there is a warning so this is a good incubator this is a digital incubator and I'm so happy that my friend uh, fabricated this for me and if you are just right here can contact if you wanted to have this uh, incubator we can arrange this one because i have a good friend who can uh, effectively make or fabricate this for you so now we will open this one so these are the baby quails actually they are numbering about 40 and out of the 60 eggs we have 40 hatch and I was told that there are still many eggs to be hatched. Down under are still the eggs to be hatched. And we expect that by the next couple of days, we're going to be uh, seeing some quail eggs. Wow, this is very amazing. And down here is, of course, the chicks of this Rhode Island and the black astrolog right here. Plenty of them are here and uh, some are still hatching, Wow, some have already escaped, no don't escape, oh poor, very poor chick, I have to help this one because sometimes this will dry up and they cannot go out from the shell, it needs time to recover, okay, is it? We have plenty right here. Wow, these are our produce, Rhode Island red chickens. This can be sold immediately because there are many people waiting for the chicks of this Rhode Island. We would like to, you know, uh, tell our our buyers that if you would like to avail of our Rhode Island, then you can just drop by and okay, uh, you can just drop by and avail of our chicks. 
So I estimated this to reach around 60 heads. So these are the produce of the farm. So now we will bring this to the house. And all the Rhode Island chicks are still to be left here. We will not get them. We'll close this one. Our intention is just to get the, the quails. So we have here this uh, tiny chicks of the quail, very small, they're actually now uh, chilling because of the air condition, but we have to place some warm light because these uh, chicks are very, very delicate at the age of day one to 15 days, we have to put them in an area where there is high temperature. And for us to do that is of course to place this warm light so that they will survive. So these are the things that we can share with you so far. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And shout out to our new members who joined this channel. And also to our subscribers, to our followers. Thanks a lot. And I would like to invite you, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because we are uploading videos every two days now, on here, at Dexter's World!